Welcome, I'm Mercurial Mercenaries for another bite-sized reaction, this time to another song by Timimpala that you guys have been asking for, Borderline. This was performed live, I believe, on Saturday Night Live. Never watch it myself, more of an American institution, isn't it? But we, well I, am going to listen to it for the very first time. This is genuinely the first time I haven't heard a single second of it. Let's just press play. Right now. Once again, Tame Impala. She's pronounced that wrong straight off the bat. Weirdly, this is the first time I've ever <laughs> seen the guy, apart from on record sleeves. Like in the selection of shirts. Keyboards again. Pianos going. Oh, that's a really nice sound he's got going on live. Hoff and the bass in the background. Nod to the Beatles. Lots of shirts that look like pajamas. All the haircuts are exactly the same. It's like half the stage of Kevin Parker clones, and then this half. Well, the keyboard guy. The keyboard guy is the odd one out. Very electric. Electro, rather. Keyboards. Keyboards. This could be an 80s. An 80s pop song. I think I need to... When it comes to... I've, I've seen um, criticism, uh, I think, from long-term uh, Tim Impala fans where they're concerned that Mr. Parker isn't using so many guitars at the moment. And there's this idea, I, I, I kind of noticed it when I was reacting to Currents. Now, I think Currents might have been my favourite Tim Impala album, but I know, I just know that most fans respect the lonerism in a speaker period much more. And I found it with other bands when, um, you got Queen, who are a rock band, right? But then when they released songs like I Want to Break Free and Radio Gaga, those were the songs that hit me there. And then you got bands like Block Party, who got a lot of flack for their second album, A Weekend in the City, because everyone wanted more Silent Alarm. But I like that more laid back, keyboardy, Weekend in the City sound. And even with bands like Iron Maiden, the, the, the fans will be like, give us more Number of the Beast. And when Seventh Son of a Seventh Son came out, which was more keyboardy. There's, there is, there is something where a rock fan will often not tolerate a keyboard album by their favourite band. It's just odd. Let me just rewind and listen to these, some of these lyrics again, right? That's quite a, quite a vocal. There's some backing vocals going on there. Hang on, let me listen to that again. That sounded like, uh, you guys will definitely correct me down below. That sounds like Kevin Parker layered backing vocals. So we're playing so we're playing to tracks, which I haven't got a problem with. Yeah. 
I'm not sure. What's the score with? What's the score with uh, Saturday Night Live? In this country, we had uh, Top of the Pops, and on Top of the Pops, uh, bands were basically uh, they couldn't play live. The best you could ever get was a live vocal. And then in more recent years, and I say recent years, years which are longer than most of you have been alive. We've had the Jules Holland show over here where uh, bands play completely live. So we've got that mixture. And whenever I watch a band on a program like this, and I've got no real history of Saturday Night Live, but I always look at the drum kit and watch how the drummer's playing and how mic'd up the drum kit is. And here right now, I'm looking, I can see the drummer's got a mic. I can't, is that a mic there? I can't see that the drum kit's mic'd up. Is that a mic there? This is mic number one, this is mic number one. Isn't this a lot of fun? Hang on. Not sure, genuinely not sure. Everyone's got the pedals out. Let me just look at that again. I commented on this on uh, which uh, which album was it? Hang on, this one here, Lonerism. Uh, remember, this was one of my first experiences of the band, and I remember commenting on the sheer number of uh, pedals, including two blues drivers, two blues drivers right there, two of these buggers, two of these buggers. Someone mentioned actually that they might be just to, to run his pedal board in stereo. They're labelled A and B. Not sure about that. Looking at this album. These, he's labelled these uh, pedals A and B. I think he just likes to use two different settings. And rather than twiddle them, he can um, use whichever one he wants. And put them into series. Escalation. Layers of distortion. But he likes his pedals. He likes his pedals. Let's just look at his pedals live again. Hold on. Hold on. We can do this. Okay, we're zooming out. We're zooming out. Okay, so we've got Mr. Bass Player here. Can't tell whether this pedal board is purely for the bass or whether he also runs this synth through it. This uh, keyboard player here has got a couple of pedals. This keyboard player here has about, I'd say, one, two, three, four, five, six, three thousand pedals. Three thousand! Mr. Parker, funnily enough, doesn't have any pedals because he's not playing the guitar. He's standing there in white trainers like an 80s pop hero. Drummer on the drum riser does not look like it's mic'd up. So I would assume the drums are on the backing track. Hard to tell. Let me just keep listening. Hang on. Something wrong with his monitors there, I think. I don't know. There's some sort of mic attached to the hi-hat. Bongo's a... Bongo's a mic. Oh, I like that. That bass line. Hang on. That's good. Yeah, alright. That's the bass line played on the Hofner bass. Which means that that, that Hofner bass player has just instigated a raspy distortion there. That's good. That vocal is perfect. I gotta say, it is, I think, easier to get a kind of ethereal, um, ethereal vocal that doesn't wander around the melody too much. Perfect. And then when you put a little bit of chorus and a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay on there and swamp it. Yeah. But that's what this is all about. This is all about atmosphere. I love a party with a happy atmosphere. This reaction's rubbish. 95% Russ Abbott, 5% Tim Impala.
Ooh, that's good. This is so 80s. Oh, that was good. That cut quick then. Let's just listen to that again. Yeah. Who's playing that? Hang on. Who's doing the da 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 Right. It's not the guy on the right. It's not the guy on the left. Not, it's not him there on that keyboard, so it's not... Not him. Sorry about this, guys. Not him. Let's check the guy in the middle again. Right, it's not him. And then, and then the, ca the keyboard's cut. You can't do that live. And some of those keyboards aren't being played live. Okay, so we've already established that the keyboards, uh, some of them are on tracks, and there's there's Kevin Parker layered backing vocals on tracks. Therefore, I'm now trying to work out whether anything's live apart from the vocals. Hang on. This isn't this isn't important. This is just me being um, finickety. Hang on. Bongos might be live. Some of these vocals might be live. I don't much care. I am listening to the song, honestly. I like this. Oh, I got that. Right. Okay, right. So it's the words on the borderline. Gets me every time. We're, we're on the borderline. It gets me every time. We're blues. Gagate. What does blues the gate mean? I don't know. Let's just listen to that again. We're on the borderline. It gets me every time. We're blues the gate. He's probably not saying blues the gate. Hang on. Once we go inside. Once we go. Once we go inside. Once we go inside. Oh no, I couldn't get away. We're on the borderline. It gets me every time. It's blue. Sagate. Once. Once again, I am alone. I thought there was the potential that these lyrics are just gibberish, but it does seem to get back to the fact that he's alone. Hang on. Once again, I am alone. Got to loosen up without me. Without me, without me, more than love. Is he saying more than love or northern love? Northern love. Remember Andy Cap? Hang on. Without me, more than love. Without me, Northern Love, Nescafe, Nescafe. Without me, Northern Love, Nescafe, something else. Oh. 
Whoa. The lights are on. The lights are on. The lights are on now, Mr. Parker. The lights are on. Let's just take a look. Hold on. Let's just take a look at this. Now the lights are on. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe that's a little mic there, maybe? That's his vocal mic. It could be that could be a mic in there, could be. Don't know. Don't know. That's mic'd. There's enough wires and pedals and things going on here, but that was definitely played to a backing track. Uh, I'll say not particularly important. Doesn't matter, does it? I I think given the fact da 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 I mean that was that would have fit in nicely on a on a sort of now hits uh, now that's what I call music six from the eighties. And you can imagine them being on a on a on a show with uh, orchestral maneuvers in the dark and tears for fears and and spandau ballet or whatever. Um, and for me, this is a good thing. One of my favourite bands of all time. Aha. I. I like the fact that there's no guitar there. I like that. For me, that's a positive. And when you've got a. a, a a player who you guys told me on the on the early albums makes um, sounds that I was confusing with keyboards, and you're saying to me, "No, Mercura Number Six, they're not keyboards. This is Kevin Parker running his guitar through a series of pedals to get that ethereal sound." When you've got someone like that, who people have looked up to, many of you have said that uh, Lonerism is your favourite album of all time, and I understand you want him to do more of that. Gotta be above it. Gotta be above it. Gotta be above it. Gotta be above it. And he's not. He's he's dressed. He's dressed like he's from the eighties. Actually, he needs to sort of cut his hair across here and probably spike some of it up to truly pull that look off. To to truly pull that look off. But I'm. I mean, what can I say? I liked patience. And I like Borderline. I like them. Let me know down below. Let, let me know down below if you like that song. If you didn't like that song. Let me know which you preferred. Patience or Borderline. I think Patience. What it has got going for it. It, 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 still, it still is. The festival setting sun song whereas this one is more of a chuck it anywhere in the set song with Paul McCartney's bass and wearing your pajamas what did you think my mercenaries let me know down below over and